In this video, we're going to take a look at a shimmering magenta ink by Diamine Magenta Flash. Now, as always, there's timestamps down below so you can skip around, but if you've got the time, I'd appreciate you checking out the entire video. Also, down in the description is a link to the Magenta Ink playlist, so if you wanted to check out more of them, you can find that there. I'm an ink guy, and let's get into the first writing sample done on 90 GSM Clairefontaine. No bleeding, no ghosting. I do struggle with always having to move the lighting for the shimmering inks. We get no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, no shade. And that's because while this looks like some shading spots, what it is is where there's more of the shimmer, you see less, you know, you, so the K has actually less of the shimmer than the rest of Quick, so it looks darker. But we're getting not, I'm not getting any shading in the writing. The extra fine is darker than the stub, while the medium's a lot darker than the extra fine. The extra fine took six seconds to dry, and the medium took 10 seconds to dry. Scrubby for both show no color variation. We're not getting it in the writing. Again, the color variation I see on the camera is where there's more shimmer versus less. The smear test you could recover if you smeared while you were writing. To have a range of experience with this ink, all of the writing samples are done with a Jinhao 159 with a 1.1 stub, a Jinhao X450 with a medium, and a Jinhao X750 with an extra fine. Then a Noodler's Ahab with the Fountain Pen Revolution Gold Nib was inked up, used for a day, and used to take the notes for this video. The next writing sample is done on 52 GSM Tomoe River. We have no bleeding, but we do get some ghosting. I don't worry about what happens with the scrubbies. We get no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade. The extra fine's darker than the stub, and the medium's darker than the extra fine. Extra fine took 11 seconds to dry, while the medium took 16. Scrubby for both give us no color variation, and we don't get any because of that shimmer. The smear test you could not recover if you smeared while you were writing. I agree with Vita. There's a lot to learn by doing multiple chromatographies. The one on the left is done the way it's supposed to be done. A line of ink is put down, and then it's put into water for 10 to 15 seconds. You see the shimmer stays at the bottom, and what we see is this is a very single tone working its way up. It's one dye, and frequently when I don't see any mixing of colors, I frequently don't see very much shading. The one on the right is let dry for 10 minutes, and we really don't see a difference. So we don't expect much resistance from this ink. The next writing sample is done on 80 GSM Rhodia dot pad. We have no bleeding, no ghosting. So glad I got the lighting worked out for this. We have no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade. Nope. The extra fine's darker than the stub, the medium's darker than the extra fine. Extra fine took 8 seconds to dry, while the medium took 12, so very nice there. Scrubby for both shows no color variation. We're not getting it. It's... I think the color of it's kind of boring, but the smear test says you can recover it if you smear while you're writing. Resistance tests are done to see how this ink can be expected to perform on the page, and more importantly, how hard it may be to clean from your pen. The smear's allowed to dry for three days before testing it. Looking at the highlighter, I would not use it in a note-taking situation. It has a few issues. I just wouldn't do it. Again, we get to see how difficult this can be to take pictures of because of the tremendous amount of reflection from all of that shimmer. Water is reactivating and lifting most of this ink out of the way. It's got a little bit of a pink tone left. Pen Flush does the same thing that water does, nothing more. One-third bleach solution completely destroys it. But, as is the case with almost every diamine ink I've ever tried, it only takes water to get this out of my pen. The next writing sample is done on Franklin Christoph paper. Now we do get quite a few spots that are deep into the page. None of these spots I'm circling come through and touch the page underneath, but they might mean that you don't want to use the back of the page, so that's a, a you thing. I don't know, I might, it depends on what I'm doing. We have no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, no shade. We get tone variation at the extra fine's darker than the stub, and the medium's darker than the extra fine. The extra fine took six seconds to dry, and the medium took eight. 
Scrubby for both give us no color variation because the ink gives us no color variation. And the smear test you could likely recover if you smeared while you were writing. For the inks tested, the average viscosity is 2.5, and the realm of normal is 2.1 to 2.9. Diamine's Magenta Flash has a viscosity of 1.31, so this is a ridiculously wet ink. If you're interested in how the viscosity tests and all that's done, then there's a link to that video down in the description. Now, for the inks tested, the average dry time was 17 seconds, and the realm of normal was 13 to 21 seconds. Diamine's Magenta Flash had an average dry time of 11 seconds, so it is a fast drying ink. Instead of finding inks that look like Diamine's Magenta Flash, I'd prefer to find an ink that complements its color on the page. I decided to go with a turquoise ink by Diamine, their Marine. Not Marine as in the military in the U.S., not the Marines. Marine, the color, like the ocean. If you'd prefer a different complement color, then down in the description are links to those playlists. So what do I think of Diamine's Magenta Flash? There were fewer writing samples because of how much I'm not liking this. The tone is so bright and obnoxious and demands even more attention with all of this shimmer. It's so much. It does cause a little bit of uh, clogging. It behaved perfectly fine, so if the color is your thing, you go for it. What nib and pen are going to give the best writing experience with this ink? I did experience some clogging with this pen, so you want to make sure that you're using a very wet, very broad pen. It even defeated that here a little bit. I hope you got something out of this video, and in the next video, we're going to take a look at KWZ's Flame Red.